Hi there, guys. I tell you what, this flight is called Operation Her Story, and there were an awful lot of great stories to hear out here this morning. They gathered at Midway's baggage claim just after four this morning. I was actually awake most of the night, so. <laughs> you didn't sleep at all? No. 93 veterans from different eras, different branches. Go Navy, yes. And they all came with different stories. But this morning, they all have one thing in common. They are making Honor Flight history. Today is Operation Her Story. So it's Honor Flight Chicago's 98th flight, but this one's a special one. It's a partnership with a group for an all-female veteran flight. Many have been to D.C. before, but never like this. Women veterans are kind of shunned in the past, but now it seems we're coming to the forefront and we're all very happy about it that we're finally being recognized. Not only recognized, but celebrated. I am ecstatic. I want to see the Women's Memorial very badly. And I didn't even know there was a Vietnam Women's Memorial, so I want to see that too. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. It was worth getting up for. This is 99-year-old Betty Hortman from Morton Grove. Betty, B-E-T-T-E. -E. My father was madly in love with Betty Davis, so I'm Betty with an E. Betty with an E was a physical therapist in World War II. She served in the South Pacific for 18 months during the war. Betty was 22 when this photo was taken. She'll be 100 in December. And you're still working. No, I'm more importantly, I'm still bowling in two leagues. What? And I carry a pretty good average. She is one of two World War II vets on the flight. The other is 104-year-old Josephine Bogdanich from Mount Greenwood. She was a mail clerk here in the States during the war. She'll be 105 next week. It's hard to explain how it's going to mean to me. Um, something very special. And I've met, so far, I've met people that I hope to see during the trip. Along with the sights of D.C., it's that camaraderie Josephine mentioned that the co-director of the Honor Flight Chicago says makes it such an honor to make happen. This will be my 10th. I haven't gotten through one of these yet without crying. It is a whirlwind trip for these vets. They took off around 7 this morning. They'll land after a packed day of sightseeing around 8.30 tonight. Women are very special, and being a part of this historical trip is something that I will hold dear to my heart forever and ever. Now, as you heard, this was the 98th Honor Flight Chicago, and if everything goes as planned, the 100th should take off sometime early next year. We are live at Midway. I'm Eric Rohn, WGN News.